The federal government might be shut down, but Senator Rob Portman's office is open for business. Our job is to continue to represent Ohio, even with half the employees. The coffee was hot and the donuts piled high for visitors to Portman's weekly constituent breakfast. A little harder to get in the buildings because a lot of the doors are closed. Brad Olmacher is the president of a manufacturing company in Elyria. He comes to Washington a couple times a year to lobby and says it's a little easier during the shutdown. You actually have an opportunity to, do, to talk to someone and visit with people. As Portman made his way around the room greeting constituents, Olmacher prepared what he wanted to talk to the senator about. The different things that allow me to have more money so that I can put it, invest it into equipment and into people rather than go into taxes where it just gets lost. From manufacturing to education, this high school teacher from Cincinnati wanted to push Portman to make personal finance part of the high school curriculum. We think that we should empower our students with the financial education they deserve to make wise and informed financial choices. I asked Paige if he felt odd coming to Washington to talk finances during a fiscal crisis. I understand that this is more of a macroeconomic issue and what we're looking for is more personal finance, but certainly it's pretty ironic. Something that isn't lost on the senator either. Our job is to try to work through this issue of the government shutdown, get that over and behind us. But in the meantime, we're going to continue to hear from our constituents and, and get their input. Reporting in Washington, Jacqueline Policastro, 13ABC, Action News.